Hello, everybody. Texas is the best state in America. Look, California is beautiful because of its oceans and temperature. But you don't beat the state of Texas. You got desert. You got plains. You got ocean. You got art. You got history. This is a great state to live in. And I don't care what anybody tells me. Because at the end of the day, it's the best state in America. Don't tell me otherwise. Don't fight me on this one. We have hundreds of miles of beautiful land. Hundreds of miles of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful property, rocks, everything. We have it. Don't even go there and say that, oh, Texas ain't the most beautiful place. No, no. It may not be the most aesthetically pleasing, but when you count the people and the relatively less dangerous, mostly areas of Texas, the good roads, the lack of potholes in most cities in the state, the lack uh, or the commodity of being able to buy ocean property right on the ocean front, it's humid, but if you got a good system, it's fine. You be able to go into the desert of West Texas and buy a nice big home, maybe in El Paso or just north of El Paso, but near the border. To be able to buy property in Del Rio, all the way to Amarillo, all the way to Texline, from all the way down to Brownsville. This is, we got the world's biggest bat cave in Brackenridge Park just north of Bear County, just north of Bear County. We have horseback riding, we got lakes, not as beautiful as, I'm not gonna lie, they're not as beautiful as other places like Utah, where they got that, that my God, that blue lake, that uh, Utah and um, it's just a beautiful, and Wyoming lake, I forgot the name of it. But when you got mountains and you got desert, and if, you, if you're into the desert scene, you have desert still. If like you're from New Mexico, Arizona, you'll feel right at home, but it'll be Texas and more remote. But you have high speed data on Interstate 10, Interstate 20, that if you use AT&T, you'll be good for the most part. Um, you have oceans, you have everything that you could think of and want in a state right here. We have security, we have less earthquakes, we have less issues with the natural disasters other than tornadoes. But that's like Dallas and Fort Worth and Waco, you know, parts of Austin sometimes, in Temple, Texas, um, uh, San, Mar uh, not, not San Angelo, you know, you got the Lubbock and you got the Amarillo with the tornadoes. East, anywhere between um, east of Amarillo to all the way to Wichita Falls, eastward to uh, uh, Texarkana, Texas, all the way down to Houston and southeast-ish, Texas can get tornadoes too. But for the most part, beautiful this state is. A lot of people don't know about Texas. It is absolutely a gorgeous state. And I'm tired of people saying, oh, this is the most boring state in the world. There's literally 800 miles on Interstate 10 east and west to visit. There's over 900 miles from Brownsville to Texline to visit. If you want property in the absolute middle of nowhere in south central ish to west central Texas, you could get a gigantic acre of property for half the cost of probably where you're living. I can't say a more beautiful state than the state of Texas, other if you're in the desert scene, New Mexico seems like a beautiful place to live. If you don't like humidity, if you can't like, if you don't like the humidity, what the hell? Is well, anyways, that's what we have here, the basics. But it's it's gonna go away soon. Funny about South Texas, you'll be in the hill country, right, with all these hilly. But at least we have trees here, so there's more humidity. That means there's more humidity in general because there's more humidity. But once you pass uh, North Bear, Bear County, it becomes flat. Little hill, little hills here and there, but majority it's just flat. You have hills, you got mountains. If you really want mountains though, you're gonna have to go to a different state. 
But if you like mountains and you like living on top of a mountain, you're going to go to El Paso. El Paso is hot and humid, but, but, it may be hot and humid in El Paso, but at least you'll have a mountain view. And it's deserty and it's nice and hot, but it's a dry heat and you would have a good time with your If you're looking for a humid adventure and bugs, uh, and you're looking on a budget, to live on a budget, you're gonna wanna live in an area like Fort Stockton. Um, you're gonna wanna live in an area, I would not recommend too much of living north of Fort Stockton because of the tornadoes. But in general, I would say, you know, Texas is the best state. It aesthetically pleasing like Colorado or California or Utah, but it's close and it's got its own history. Plus, the interstates are, you know, in, they're in pretty decent shape. Very decent shape, these interstates. Also, if you're Californian and you're moving to Texas, Austin is your mecca of craziness. Austin is a good state, uh, city to live in. And you, you just go to Austin. If you're a Californian, go to Austin. Move to Austin. It's still cheap while you can. Buy while you can. Get a nice house while you can. I, you know, I don't have anything against California. Just If you're going to move, try to keep it peaceful, okay? Because everybody here has guns. Just try to keep it peaceful. That's all I'm going to say. Also, we have flat land on hills, which is weird, but we do. Um, we have decently cold temperatures. Uh, if you're looking for a year round without going to Florida, if you're looking for year round, uh, heat, you're going to want to move to an area either in Laredo or Brownsville, Texas. Um, it's always, almost always warm down there. And in San Antonio, it could be below 32 degrees. And then in South Texas, which is about 200 miles more south to Brownsville. What the actual? The bugs. The bugs get real bad around this area. East Junction. There's nothing you can do about it. But, like I said in general, you'll like Texas. Thank you guys for watching.